and what is up welcome back to the channel if you're new in here welcome and if you're back hit the like button let's move it forward let's get this type of content out there um you know let's better our lives let's use our minds so today i just want to talk about something quickly that i was in this forum manifestation forum and someone was talking about how they do their affirmations and stuff in the morning and then they do it in the evening but their question was during the day they'll feel like they don't have they'll feel that lack of not having the thing that they want and they wanted to know if they should do their affirmations in that time in that space when they're feeling the lack and i kind of just sat back and i thought about it and i mean this even goes back to a lot of what neville says but essentially when you are in the end state when you know as i say when the wish is fulfilled you will never you don't really feel that lack and actually by that lack is you sort of knowing that you haven't really got to that state that you really need to be in at night or you know in the morning whenever you're actually doing the affirmations mainly at night because you know states akin to sleep is the best way to impress anything onto the subconscious mind and and i'll tell you a story about that as well because at the end of the day when you truly get into that state of the, having the thing already the thing that you desire you lose the desire and it's very it's a very interesting thing because you might think, wait, so you're telling me that the thing that I want, I'll stop desiring it. And it's like, yes, because you truly already have it within imagination. And so this is my little experience with this. And this is even before I even knew about Neville or anything, but I did dabble in manifestations and, you know, just my own form of things. And then it just happened to work out and I... I wouldn't even know how to recreate it in a sense so basically i got this new job and was in the film industry and it was an amazing job and you meet a lot of like the cast and the crew and you spend a lot of time with these people obviously because you're doing a whole shoot you're having breakfast with them you're having lunch with them you only having every second saturday off as well so you spending a lot of time with people and and obviously i met this young lady i just i don't know what it was it's just there was just something amazing about her and she was very beautiful and i was very attracted to her and she was also very open i never met someone who was that sort of beautiful who was that open to just come and speak to you normally obviously i've eventually found out she wasn't from where i'm from so it was kind of it made sense because where I'm from, you know, you wouldn't get that sort of approach. People are very to themselves. And I mean, they can do whatever they want. But I started talking to her a lot. And, you know, that desire was there. I liked her. Um, and then at some point, I just remember someone saying, oh, hey, I see you hanging out with her a lot. And I was like, yo, you know, we talk. And then someone said, yeah, you can try all you want, but you'll never get her because she's not even into guys. And I was like, what? And this obviously turned out to be true. And I I didn't know. I was in just in this weird space because I really liked her, but obviously couldn't happen. But anyways, I just thought to myself, you know what? Like, I could still be a friend like she's just a really cool person and i like talking to her and so time goes on and obviously i start liking her more and more and i just have this desire and i'm starting to like do certain affirmations and stuff but every day in the 3d world i'm just met with the fact that like I can't get her and I would get so frustrated and just angry within myself because you know I was like why did I go 
and start to like someone that I really can't even get. You know what I mean? So it's like I've put myself in a weird position. Um, instead of just keeping everything cool and casual and stuff, I went and got feelings, basically. And so I just every day I went home and the only thing that could really sort of not not ease my pain, but just ease my mind was having these certain mental movies of like just like weird little things us going on like a date and having a meal and laughing over it and really sort of getting to that point of like we're a couple now and that was like and I don't know why I was doing it then like I said it was just to ease me but so I just kept doing that every night and stuff and then but then I would go back to work and I would be upset within myself because I would look at the 3D once again for proof. You know, I kept looking, looking, and that's that lack. And I don't know when it was, but there was one day, probably like a month and a half in to work, because we did like six months, which was like split <clears throat> three months, three months. But there was one day where... I just didn't have any and I'd been doing these mental movies like for a long now every night because I was also like texting her we were like we would talk a lot because we were good friends we were just texting texting and so based off of the text I could go into these mental movies and I don't know what happened really but there was one day where I went to work and I didn't I didn't care in terms of, I just, I felt content. Like, it was weird because everything within me, the whole desire was just, it felt like it had, it was gone. Like, I didn't desire her anymore. Which is interesting because it wasn't a desire of, oh, I'm not interested anymore. It was one of the the desire goes once the wish is fulfilled. And that is what happened within me. And I didn't even realize it. And I just, I, there was like this weight that was off my shoulders. And I was just in that state of, I was just like almost glowing because I don't know, in, in these mental movies, something clicked and that became my state. And that weekend, it's pretty interesting because the next day, that was like the Thursday. And then on the Friday, she came up to me and she was like, oh, hey, Michael, by the way, um, my roommate and I are going to the beach this weekend and we're going to do like, it's going to be like a whole weekend of fun and stuff. Um, would you like to come visit? And I was like, what? And it was so weird because I was in such like a relaxed state and I was like, yeah, sure, I can make it. And, you know, long story short, that was like the first time that I went over to her place and I ended up dating her and I was the first guy to ever be her boyfriend like you see how like the universe will conspire to give you what you want if you put yourself in the end state like any person would have been like yeah but she's not even into guys if you know what I mean and that would be the end right there. But you never know. And I also didn't try fiddle with anything. I didn't try like plan anything. Just this natural flow happened. And that was accomplished. So that's what I'm saying. Just in terms of what that person was talking about. When they said, you know, I like, what am I supposed to do during the day? If I, if I'm lacking, you know, and that's why I can say it's because you haven't completely assumed the state. You have to keep going back to your, your, your state akin to sleep, you know, falling asleep within the mental movie and actually feeling yourself being there, placing yourself there in the 3D space. So engaging in all your senses, your sight, your hearing, your smell, your taste, what you can feel. When you anchor yourself into that mental scene and you play it over and over and over, at some point, it just, the mind can't tell the difference and it sinks in and that's the state. And 
Yeah, it was beautiful. Even talking about it now, it's like I'm reminded of how amazing things can be. Things can really be absolutely how you want them to be by just doing, by utilizing your mind and and everything else that goes with that. So that was just the story I was sharing today. Pretty short video, but it was just, you let go of desire. Once your wish is fulfilled, the desire goes because now you're just appreciating it. And now all you're doing is showing gratitude for what you already have. So yeah, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Share with someone who might need to hear this. I mean, like I said, five years ago, I could have done with a video like this, that's for sure. And subscribe for more. Uh, my old videos are over there, there, and you can subscribe right over here. And I'm out. Peace.